Hi, I'm Ellis Thompson Ellis with the Grand Junction Fire Department and today we're going to talk about CPR mannequins that you can make at home. Now we think it's important that everybody learns hands-only CPR but we understand that you might not have a CPR mannequin lying around your house. So we're gonna go through a few household items that you can use and actually how you can make your own CPR mannequin to practice on. So those household items, first, a rolled up towel. The whole intent with these items is that you're pressing two inches. So you're looking for, for something firm and something that you can press on. The next is a firm pillow of some kind. Uh, you get points if it's heart shaped and you can also just use a roll of toilet paper believe it or not uh, it's about the right size about the right texture and again lets you press down two inches the last thing that you could use household is a water bottle or a soda bottle with the lid on and that's going to again keep that pressure and let you push two inches down now if you want to go ahead and make your own cpr mannequin at home the items that you're going to need are a water bottle or a soda bottle with a lid on. You're going to need an old shirt that you have lying around and you're going to need a few rubber bands so maybe three or four of those. Lastly if you have towels, plastic bags, something to stuff inside the shirt you're going to go ahead and grab those. So pause the video, grab those things, come on back and we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is put rubber bands on both sleeves to kind of close them off and we're also going to put a rubber band at the bottom of the shirt again to close it off you can just kind of imagine where the waist of that shirt is it doesn't need to be huge and you can actually section off a good bit of the bottom of the shirt so now that we've got that i'm going to kind of just give myself a little bit of room the goal is to take our plastic bottle with the cap still on and have it sit right in the center of the chest so that we've got a place to push that's going to give us two inches of depth. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tuck that in through the top where I want it. And then I'm just going to take my rags or my plastic bags or my towels, paper towels, doesn't matter, and I'm going to work to fill out that, fill out that shirt and again kind of keep that plastic bottle in place so you can stuff it pretty pretty quickly really and the whole idea is you just don't want that plastic bottle to move around and it also simulates with real cpr having to find the center of the chest and that breastbone and that place to push So now that you've finished building your mannequin, you're ready to practice. We're going to go ahead and turn it to the side because that's where you give CPR is from the side of the person. You can use this to practice finding the center of the chest, place the heel of your hand on the breastbone or in this case the soda bottle, and you can practice pushing down two inches after you interlace your fingers. So we're going to push and let the bottle fill all the way back up between compressions. Hands-only CPR is a life-saving intervention and it just takes a few minutes to learn. Now these are just some of the items at your house that you can use to practice. If you have ideas, leave those in the comments below and thank you for taking time to learn how to save a life.